So what I want to share with you on this slide is a little bit of history about Ipsamed the com uh, company. As you, see, as you can see, more than 35 years ago, we launched our first insulin pump in Europe. And since then, as you can see in the background, we've launched many other pumps. In about 2016, we launched the Ipsa Pump insulin management system, and this is going to be the focus of our discussion today. The future roadmap of the MyLife Ipsa Pump system is an exciting one, utilising the MyLife app as the backbone of the portfolio, where technical updates come free of charge easily to patients via system updates on their app store. The first upgrade is planned is the MyLife Assist, and should be available around the end of this year. MyLife Assist will offer patients full and app-based integration of the Dexcom CGM data into the MyLife IpsaPump system. Later, in the first half of 2021, we will launch the MyLife Dose. Again, MyLife Dose will be an upgrade available via the App Store. This upgrade will allow users to control some aspects of the MyLife IpsaPump remotely via their smartphone namely calculating and delivering a bolus. Finally, approximately two years later, pending regulatory approvals, MyLife Loop will be launched. In this version, the MyLife IPSA pump system, complete control of the system will be available via smartphone app, including the implementation of an automated insulin delivery algorithm. In the background, Ipsamed has conducted extensive market research with patients and healthcare professionals alike. One thing has become abundantly clear. Patients want to be able to manage their diabetes with the best possible results and the least possible impact into their daily life. One item that is already an intrinsic part of the vast majority of patients' life is a smartphone. Patient acceptance of the idea that diabetes management can be incorporated into something that's already an intrinsic part of their daily life, their smartphone, is phenomenal. Okay, so how do we get here? What's Ipsamed's roadmap? Well, Ipsamed's roadmap comes in three distinct areas. Simplification, digitalization, and as you can see here, automation. Let's have a look it more detail on simplification. So the idea about simplification is making devices small and lightweight. Patients have to wear the devices 365 days a year. So making it comfortable and easy to wear is imperative. Take the Ipsa Punt, for example. Look, at it's tiny. It's small, it's lightweight, it's very easy to use and specifically designed so for the patient's wearing ability in mind. So if simplification is all about making the product smaller, lighter, and easier for the patients to wear. Okay, let's talk a little bit more deeply on digitalization. Increasingly, reliable technology requires the integration of data in digital formats. Therapy data, CGM, FGM data, insulin, carbohydrate data, all in the one place will become ma a mandatory element to improve current therapy management and in the future, working with automated insulin delivery algorithms. Healthcare professionals' ability to manage patient data seamlessly will be critical. 
The days of manually downloading data from pumps and BGMs with dongles and leads with disparate software are things of the past. Seamless wireless data transfer, integration of data into one single platform, cloud to cloud, background synchronization, data sharing will all become the norm. The Ipsamed solution, the My Life Therapy Management with connected therapy devices. At its center, the My Life app. The introduction of My Life Assist, planned for late 2020 or early 21, is a perfect example. Not only do we achieve seamless integration of the Dexcom G6 CGM data into the My Life app, users enjoy all the features of Dexcom CGM, including alarms for highs and lows, and carers also have access to the follower app. We achieve wireless data transfer via Bluetooth and mobile phone networks and cloud-to-cloud -cloud synchronization in the background to multiple platforms, e.g. MyLife Cloud software and other third-party solutions simultaneously. This allows patients, healthcare professionals and carers access to the same data set, greatly improving potential management techniques while integrating diabetes management into something already part of their lives, their smartphone. The introduction of My Life Dose, planned for the first half of 2021, further enhances this concept. By using My Life Dose, patients won't even have to remove their pump from their pockets to execute one of the most common tasks while wearing an insulin pump, bolusing. The patient simply uses their mobile phone app to do the process for them. The glucose value is automatically populated into the bolus calculator via the Dexcom CGM. All you have to do uh, is enter your carbohydrate units. The smartphone app automatically calculates the suggested bolus and then the user just needs to tap the release button and the bolus is automatically delivered by the system. Let's have a look at automation. Firstly, automation is not new. AID algorithms have been available for some time in various different forms. The great news is AIDs have shown good improvements in therapy results. However, there is a mix report of how AIDs fit in the lives of many people with diabetes, which is discouraging some patients to take up the technology. What is new is integrating AIDs better into patients' everyday life so that we can achieve these improved therapy results with an increased number of patients because it has less impact on their daily lives. Future AIDs will see a move with these algorithms moving off devices like insulin pumps and onto smartphones, which I've already said are an intrinsic part of most patients' lives. We already see this trend with AIDs designed and built by patients themselves, the so-called DIY systems. This, coupled with improvements of preannual insulin delivery by linking carbohydrate estimation to food databases, should potentially deliver better therapy outcomes and a higher penetration of patients wanting to use the new automated therapy options. The introduction of My Life Loop in mid-2023 is another good example of future trends becoming reality soon. With My Life Loop, patients can operate all aspects of their My Life Ipsa pump using the smartphone app. Patients can choose to turn on the AID algorithm on their smartphone. And as usual, we target to make the upgrade available by simply downloading the app from the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store. Based on the data inputs of CGM, insulin, etc., the AID will automatically adjust insulin doses provided by the MyLife Ipsa pump, either by raising or reducing basal doses 
or by administrating correction boluses. All data will be wirelessly integrated into our smartphone app and wirelessly synchronized to the MyLife cloud software. From there, it can be synchronized in the background, cloud to cloud, to multiple platforms. Ipsamed is also collaborating with others in its portfolio development. For example, we have an ongoing collaboration with the JDRF. So our products can operate using the open JDRF communication protocols. This will see future MyLife Ipsapump systems supporting the incorporation of other AID systems via the open communication protocols and their third-party apps and devices. As an example, we are currently supporting Professor Neil Cohen from the Baker Institute, who's studying the safety and efficacy of open APS AID systems. In the future, healthcare professionals become the interface between digital technology and the patient. For example, reviewing therapy settings together with patients to improve outcomes. Okay, in summary, simplification. Physical products, the hardware, will become smaller and lighter. Digitalization. Therapy management systems become more intelligent. Digitalization and integration of more data in the one place. To ensure patient acceptance, this will be, need to be done in a manner that integrates into a person's lifestyle. Smartphones, already an intrinsic part of everyday life, is the obvious platform for this trend. The current trend of automation will continue. However, automation incorporated in smartphone technology will greatly uh, accelerate patient adoption due to convenience, thus improves outcomes for more people.